<laughs> Hello. Uh, hey guys. Hey, hey, hey. Um, hey, what's up? I'm Sasha Jenkins. I'm a director, a father, musician, husband, and a guy from Queens. Something like that. Music is always the backdrop for history, whether it's the Revolutionary War, whether it's you know slaves singing the pastime in the cotton fields. Music was there to help people communicate amongst one another. And that's what Wu-Tang's music has done. Clan means family, these are my Wu -Tang brothers. Wu-Tang became a style that identifies have to start the best from the bottom in order to get This was our escape. For me, to have a project like this premiere at Sundance is the ultimate honor. It's four-parter called Of Mikes and Men. 25 years of history about the mighty Wu-Tang Clan. You gonna smile today? I'm gonna try. You gonna try? Yeah, you're gonna make me smile, man. Thank okay. you so much. That's what's up. See? Good guy right there. Even if you know nothing about hip-hop, there's something about the texture of these guys that is so authentic that people are drawn to it. Wu-Tang is really basically the Mortal Kombat style of rap that we call it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I wanted to make a film that was representative of where they came from, where they've gone, and how many things remain the same in their lives, not only as artists, but as black men. There you go, right there. You hear the kids in the back playing? Staten Island, we burn calories. Staten Island is an afterthought, has always been an afterthought. And the guys in the Wu-Tang Clan knew that. Yeah. That's where we used to play at, right there. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Shit done changed. They represent hope how if you apply your creativity to something and you don't give up, it can happen for you. We used to come up here, write our rhymes, but we used to just have big dreams of getting away from it all, you know what I mean? They started out selling newspapers, graduated to something else that wasn't as nice, and then took that drive and that acumen and created something that has just literally set the world on fire. When it comes to African-American folks and their stories, they always get relegated to this quote-unquote black box. We have to come to a place where we understand and recognize that Wu-Tang isn't just black history. It is American culture. And hip-hop is one of the greatest exports this country has shared with the world.